Okay, in this example, we're going to simplify the expression using properties of exponents. We're going to expand any numerical portion of our answer and just include positive exponents. So we're using all the rules that we've learned, which the first is that we're going to do is multiply exponents. When you're raising a power to a power, you're going to multiply the exponents. The second thing we're going to do is add some exponents if we have any to add and you'll subtract if you've got any to subtract. Basically, if you're multiplying two factors with the same base, you're going to add, and dividing two expressions with the same base, you're going to subtract. Let's count the factors. In the, in, in the original expression, if you look inside the parentheses and you start with the 5, remember everything is independent inside those parentheses. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, five for a total of five factors. Each one of those factors has to be raised to that second power. So we're going to raise each factor to the outside power and when we do that, if we run across some exponents, we're going to multiply them. <clears throat> so the outside power is the two. It applies to everything inside the parentheses. So you will draw yourself a dividing line and you will raise everything to that second power right where it sits. So the 5 raised to the second power is still going to be on the top left, 5 to the second power. a to the negative 2, when you multiply those exponents, negative 2 times positive 2 is a to the negative 4. The b is just going to be raised to the second power. The a on the bottom will be raised to the second power and the b to the negative 1 on the bottom, you'll multiply those exponents. It's going to be b to the negative 2 because you're multiplying negative 1 times positive 2. The next thing we're going to do is move all the, our negative exponents. They can't stay where they are. So let's look at the expression that we've got. Draw yourself a dividing line and we're going to move it on this step. So look at each of those five factors. You still have five factors that you're working with. The first one's five squared. No, eg no negative exponents there, so let's just leave that where it is. The second one is a to the negative fourth. That one's going to have to move below the division line. So I'm just going to write an a to the fourth below the line. The b squared is fine. It can stay on top, so I'm going to write that on the top. The a squared on the bottom is also fine, so we're going to keep that on the bottom. However, the b to the negative 2 needs to move across the division line to the top. So we're going to write b positive 2 on the top. Now everything is positive. And the last thing we have to do is evaluate any numeric bases and then clean up our like bases. So in the expression, draw yourself another dividing line. Just going one at a time through the five factors. Five squared is 25. You've got two b's in the numerator of that fraction. Add those exponents because that's multiplying two factors with the same base. Two plus two, four. On the bottom, you've got a to the fourth and a squared, so you're going to add those exponents as well. 4 plus 2 is 6. This is your final simplified answer for that first expression. I'm going to run through one more problem with you. In this second example, we're going to run through it a little bit quicker, and you are welcome to pause the video if you need to. First thing we're going to do is count the factors. So let's look at the expression. Inside the parentheses, I see five distinct factors. We're going to raise each of those factors to the outside power, and we're going to multiply any exponents that we run across. <clears throat> the outside power is 3. And now draw yourself a dividing line and look at your first factor, which is x to the negative 2. Multiply those exponents. So negative 2 times 3 is x to the negative 6. Multiply the y 
exponents, so it's negative 2 times 3 is negative 6 again. On the bottom, don't forget about that 4. The 4 gets a 3 as an exponent on it. The x third, 3 times 3 is 9. And the y2, 2 times 3 is 6. The next thing we're going to do is move all of our negative exponents. So you're looking at that expression, and all I see, go ahead and draw your dividing line. There's only two negative exponents that need to move. They're both on the top, and they need to move to the bottom. So that means the original pieces on the bottom can stay there. The 4 to the 3rd, x to the 9th, and y to the 6th can stay right where they are. You just need to move that x negative 6 down and make it a positive 6, and the y negative 6 becomes a y positive 6. You left the top of the fraction empty, so we're going to fill that with a 1 since we have everything in the denominator. The next thing we're going to do is evaluate any numeric bases and clean up any like bases. So let's look at the expression that we wrote. Go ahead and draw your dividing line, put your 1 up top. 4 to the 3rd evaluated is 64. You have two x factors, one with a 9 and a 6. 9 plus 6 is 15. And you have two y factors. Both of those have 6. 6 plus 6 is 12. So your final simplified expression is 1 over 64 x to the 15th y to the 12th.